recommend that are easy are intermittent fasting. For example, trying the ratio I suggested in the intermittent fasting video previously, or adopting a more low carb diet, which tends to be for people the two easiest ways that I've seen in order to eat better, which generally is, in my experience, the easiest way that people can actually eat less calories without feeling like they're eating less calories. The third thing here is to add 30 grams of protein to each meal. I've had clients do this that are both vegan and vegetarian, as well as carnivores that eat meat. What I find is that with people eating 30 grams of protein per meal, they are way more full, they naturally crave way less carbs, their blood sugar is more stable, they have better energy, and they lose more body fat. So one of the reasons is that higher protein is going to increase the proper levels of, for example, testosterone, and also a lower carb diet is going to assist in rebalancing some of the hormones, for example, cortisol, estrogen, testosterone. So besides the 30 grams of protein with each meal, which could mean some eggs, it could mean a piece of meat, it could mean beans and rice or something else. Besides that in particular, the strictest version of losing belly fat without any exercise whatsoever would be basically a strict specific carbohydrate diet or a strict paleo, which would be basically just meat, plants, and fats. So almost every one of your meals would look something like this, where you have, for example, eggs, fats, and vegetables, salmon with a ton of vegetables and fats, chicken or steak with a ton of vegetables and fats. And that's been, in my experience, the most cutting end of a diet, where that's difficult for most people, but it's also the most effective in terms of losing body fat, staying full, and still being pretty healthy at the end of the day, because you're still getting protein fats and you're getting some carbs via the vegetables. So I hope that helps as far as the primer goes on losing belly fat without exercise. Now, at the end of the day, though, it's going to depend on you. And for most people, it actually probably will take exercise. You can lose belly fat without the exercise, but to get the level of toning and the level of cutting that most men and women want, it's probably going to take exercise at the end of the day to build more muscle mass and lose more belly fat. And you're going to just look toned and fitter overall anyway. So I hope that helps. Remember, your tiny daily habit for today is to understand, look at where you are, adjust it based on your unique circumstances. You still have to decrease calories at the end of the day. Whatever way you do that doesn't really matter. Try having 30 grams of protein with each meal or going the most strict, which is a strict paleo. That's the best way to get the results I've seen without any exercise. But remember, you may need exercise to go the whole way to get the results you want. What's up, guys? It's Alex. I hope you like this video. The best way to stay in touch is to grab my totally free guide, Five Daily Habits to Help You Lose Your Next 20 to 30 Pounds. And if you like this tiny daily habits approach to not only getting fitter, but unlocking that 10 out of 10 success in your life, check out my book, Master the Day, both in the description there below or on Amazon. And if you send me your receipt to alexander at modernhealthmonk.com, I'll send you a two-hour bonus video course for free.